I just wanted to do a quick one year review of my Thunder Nova 35. I haven't had no, or no problems. I had one very small problem where the um, red dot went out and immediately Thunder, I contacted them and they sent me a new one, no problem. I like the, this Nova 35, I like the size of this because for this I just built a smaller room. I do have a bigger room next door but it's nice because I live in Ohio, as you see the weather out there is terrible and it's water cold so I need to, you know, like keep the water above freezing. So this small room that I built, I just insulated it, it's only 8 foot by 10 foot. I just put a small window in and vented it from there so I can just open the window and the vent goes straight out. Not saying no problems at all. Um, the chiller, I mean it only fills up with water and up with distilled water and there's a drain plug on the back. I mean I've changed that a few times but you just undo the drain at the back and you know tip it out, put the drain back on, refill it up, make sure your pipes are full. It's pretty simple. Like before I had this laser, I never used a laser before so I weren't quite sure what I was getting myself into but picked it up pretty easy really, I mean it's a very simple setup. sometimes it's a bit daunting, sounds like oh you've got the water, you've got an air compressor, but really it's simple, that's all, you know they only fit in the back one way so you can't really mess it up, you just go through the instructions or look at somebody's video online of putting it together, I've got the 80 watt machine, you can get a hundred watt or a hundred and fifty, I mean, if you get the bigger machine. But I've got the eighty watt, and for me, like that's been plenty. I mean, I don't cut much thicker than half inch, and if I did, I could change my lens to a four inch lens, which cuts deeper, and then even make two passes. So, I mean, I was happy just to get the eighty watt. I haven't actually had to turn it up much more than 60% for any of the jobs, so... But I mean, if you're thinking of cutting something thicker a lot, like, you know, maybe three quarter inch wood, or then you probably want to go with a higher, you know, a bigger wattage of a laser. But like I say, a lot of my stuff is like this. I mean, it, this will cut easily just under, quarter, just under a quarter of an inch and it cuts out no problem. And I've got a quarter of an inch acrylic as well that I've cut, and it's no problem at all. I mean, the majority of my stuff is just cut through this birch plywood, and like a 12 speed and a 60 power, and it just cuts it like butter. But it's pretty cool, like I say, I'll put some pictures up in the video to show what I've done. Like I say, I had no experience a year ago. I'd never even seen a laser. So I mainly got it because I do a lot of photography and I wanted to put the photographs onto something other than just paper, not, you know, I wanted it, to, that's the reason I've got the laser mainly. So I've been working out like how to get the better power and speed to get the best results. So I mean, that's, I mean, that's the biggest learning curve is just getting your speed and your power correct. And once you've done that, I mean, it's pretty easy. Just write down your setting. And uh, next time you pick that material up, you can just put it in there, set your settings and away you go. I mean, a lot of my images and stuff, I never go higher than like a 30 power. And I've tried, but I mean, there is no need to really. And it's normally, <clears throat> Sometimes I'll use 12 power, so like 12% of the power. While well, I've cut wood, acrylic, uh, leather, glass I've etched on, you can't cut glass. I've etched on metal and you can't cut metal. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of others, many different types of wood, foam, um, yeah, the list goes on really, paper, cardboard. There's so much you can really cut on it, and it's really accurate. Like I do a little bit of woodworking, and you know I'm not great at it, but I'm a little bit accurate. But yeah, with this, I mean it's 
perfect. And then if you want to fit something inside of something else, like a sign, and you want to put the letters inside, you can set like a curve offset, which, you know, makes it fit exactly. I was surprised by the, you know, level of accuracy. So, yeah, just been really pleased. Not so no problems. And this catches all the, uh, you know, catches all the bits that drop out, and that comes right out if you want it to. And as far as cleaning the machine and stuff like that, I mean, I'll give it a little wipe over now and again. It stayed, you know, pretty clean. Like I say, I don't go too crazy with the power or nothing. I mean, the, the honeycomb needs a good clean, and once the weather, you know, gets a bit better, I'll do that. The main thing that you have to clean a lot is your lens. I mean, that's simple, you know, it can be done in under two minutes. You know, you just unscrew the lens out, clean it off, and just put it back in. The other thing is the mirrors. I mean, they just need cleaning every so often. But, I mean, it's not, you know, a daily thing or a weekly thing. I mean, it's been more than a couple of months, and I'm, like, having no problems cutting. I mean, it, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So, I just left that you know left the mirrors until i kind of have any problems but i don't have any problems i mean it'll cut and etch perfectly down to the tiniest little details but yeah i've been a hundred percent happy really and for the money what you pay it could easily be made back i mean i have a different you know i do a different job but I kind of this is more of a hobby but I have made stuff to put on eBay and sold quite a bit I mean I could easily sell a lot more if I took the time and put more on there but let's say I do my other job so but yeah and I would definitely recommend it to anyone that's you know on the fence if it's something if you do a bit of woodworking like or you know if you want to just pick up a new little side business really. Not like say you could cut certain things all day long and sell it. I mean I haven't got the rotary yet but the tumblers like do very well by the look of it. So I'm looking into getting the rotary. It's definitely a nice machine and no problem. I didn't have no problems with the shipping. I mean when it arrived I have a pallet jack and uh, like just a manual one that you kind of pump up and it picked it up no problem there's actually a video of this being delivered on my channel so and if you want to see how it got delivered go and check that video out it comes with a toolbox and all the tools you need um, I mean it comes with everything that you need to get going so I mean all you need obviously is the materials but yeah, it comes working. Mine is still 100% stock at the moment. I haven't upgraded it. And I'll sh you know, like, see with my photo, you know, with the stuff that I've printed out, stock is pretty good. I mean, it can get better, obviously, if you get a you know, better lens and, the, you know, the 1.5 uh, inch lens. You can make a much smaller dot and then get a bit more kind of accuracy for the photos and stuff. But from a beginner to one year it's pretty easy really I mean if you you know got any woodworking experience or a little bit of computer you know program experience like I only really used Photoshop and stuff like that before so and I picked up Lightburn the software that I use which is really you know nice easy software to learn I mean, as long as you know your measurements and stuff like that, that you're going to want stuff, then you just put them in the machine, it's no problem. But yeah, from a beginner's perspective, after one year, I'm really pleased that I did purchase it. Like I say, you can make your money back, no problem, if you work hard enough on it and design enough files. I mean, it's a little bit hard sometimes thinking up files, but if you go through, you know, and take a look around and just come up with your own idea. You know, there's plenty of stuff that can be done. So, 
yeah, if you're looking into getting a laser and don't know what company to go with, I would recommend Funder for, you know, the money and what I've got and the um, support is very good because they got a Funder Laser USA and then they got a Funder Laser in China. So if support ain't, or like if something goes wrong with it at night and you need support, you can speak to the China, you know, Funder Laser in China and then in the daytime, you know, Funder Laser USA and they will take care of the problems as well. The groups and stuff are really helpful. Not everyone's, you know, a lot of people are there to help each other end up with a better product so yeah definitely recommend even before you buy if you ain't bought it yet join one of the groups and see i mean you'll be you'll see that everybody's happy really i never see many problems on there and if there is you know people or funder will work to fix it and so will anybody that's got any experience to help you out but like i say personally i haven't had any problems I've got my table saw and a wood workshop behind here so I can cut my stuff down to the size I want. I'm not saying most of it. I mean even if it is bigger than this, as long as it's not wider you can use the pass through. I haven't even had to yet, but I mean you can if you need to. Or you can flip the design so you've got the three feet that way. And yep, yeah, I've put a few of my bits and pieces up that I've made. And yeah, just wanted to do a review because I didn't see many on YouTube and thought, you know, people might want to know. So thanks for watching and please subscribe and I'll make videos on this laser about, you know, for the best settings for the photos and stuff like that. So hope to see you in the next video. I think I'm going to leave it at that. But yeah, and I'd say overall, I'm 100% happy. I really ain't had no problem. So. This thought I'd let everybody know that. A few more, a few more things here, which I designed myself. A lot of these, that one. This one's just using a light burn. My wife did that one. There's one of them little fire departments, train station, gazebo, lighthouse, birdhouse. <laughs> Not say you can basically make anything. Made little small ramps. Now this was a train, like a train kind of crossing. I was going to connect. I left a little lip to connect the next one to. I mean, you can make you know little scout models, models, stuff like that. Wife made like a covered bridge, but these were just designed ourselves on light burn and you can see like you could draw your own tiles hopefully that's in focus I mean this is all done on the laser as well all these little tiles but yeah so yeah definitely recommend and anyone who's looking and I'd say yeah, I've been really pleased with everything from laser so, uh, from Thunder laser and a big one is the support that you get from, you know, the online community and Funder Laser itself. So, it's another picture that I just did on there. The after practicing kind of got a bit better. Another little model there. <laughs> yeah the list goes on and on really nice as well for stuff like this if you've got a woodworking shop you know like I made the little thing and then I can etch all the sizes for the uh, sandpaper on there you know and that's done I mean signs look like the Makita sign stuff like that you can get some nice quality images.
I mean, just other small things as well, like a little, uh, let me yeah, just like a little bus stop, little bench, like, you know, just, you can make so much on it, really. There's the test card things from when I was originally testing. Yeah, I think from a spray paint holder. Yeah, for the spray paint, that was my own hand that I etched on there. Another one for that kind of thing. Um, and here's some of the photos I've done. I mean, there's plenty more. I mean, some of these, they're done at different speeds and different, some have got borax added, which makes a darker image. Some don't. This was a lot of testing and stuff, but yeah, that's some of them. <laughs>